Hello, everybody. Today, I want to talk to you something about a personal experience I've had in 2016, how I survived um, the, uh, the grind of interviewing one after, uh, not one after another, after another uh, for a few months, uh, and how my experience can help you. So this was 2016. I hated my job. Um, I was a manager, IT manager. I had to reinvent myself as a um, I'm a DevOps person. I was learning on the fly. So when I first get, started getting interviews, um, I, just so you know, um, I had at least 35 real interviews, not recruiter interviews, uh, with at least 15 different companies. So when I first got into the interviews, uh, inter interviews, I didn't know anything. I didn't know AWS. I didn't know Chef. I didn't know Puppet. All I knew is Linux and, and Bash scripting. That was the only thing, only thing that was relevant. I didn't even, I had even heard of Terraform at that point. So, the, so the, the for, so, so the first ten or 15, ten or so interviews were tough, especially the first five, because I would get on an interview, they would ask me questions, and seventy percent of them I would have to say I don't know. It got, it got so bad that it's, at one point I started saying, I started guessing, even though you're not supposed to guess on an interview, you're supposed to say I don't know when you don't know something because I got tired of saying, I don't know, right? I started guessing around the edges. So how did I survive it? Well, first of all, when you are reinventing your, yourself as a DevOps person, you don't expect an, uh, expect an offer right away. You know it's going to take some time. So each interview you, you go into thinking that I'm go not going to know the answers. I'm going to get a practice. I'm going to write down the questions that they asked me. I'm going to research them afterwards. That's the purpose. The purpose is not to get an offer. That's not the goal because that's unrealistic. So, um, but guess what? After about 10 of these, you start getting repeat questions. They're, you know, they're phrased differently, but they're basically the same questions. Some of them are anyway. So for example, they would say, what have you done with this? Or tell me about yourself or um, tell me, a situation where you had to do configuration management or what have you done, what kind of troubleshooting have you done for AWS or what kind of coding have you done in Terraform? These questions start to repeat. And after 15 of these, uh, I knew more about the interview than the interviewer because for him, I was new. I didn't know, I was an unknown quantity for him or her, right? But for me, I knew, I've been through this 10 times already, 15 times already, I kind of knew what they were gonna ask. So the idea if I'm trying to trying to preach here is when you're first trying to break into DevOps and you're going through these this, this interviews where um, you don't know anything, you don't know much, you, 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 you're really, you're really going to suck. But you go into it knowing that you're going to suck. And after each interview, you write down every single question that you can remember. And then, then you go back and you start studying up on those questions. And you start starting up on the topics around this, those questions. So you start your knowledge level gets big, wider and deeper over time. And after a while, you will feel comfortable going to the interviews because uh, fifty percent of them, the questions and scenarios will be the same, or at least very very close to what you something you already, you've already gone over and studied. So I hope this was useful to you. You know, I went through this in two thousand sixteen. It took me. Um, a good six to nine months at least, at least to to get my first offer. And luckily the, the way I got my first offer is because the hiring manager was uh, out sick and the, the, the substitute manager uh, only cared about the non-technical stuff. And the technical person on the panel didn't get a whole lot of chance to interview me. So I got lucky in that way and got the, got the offer, but that wasn't until I was interviewing for a good six to nine months. So good luck to you. And if this video was useful to you, please uh, like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.